guys and dolls and welcome back. If this is your first time checking out my channel, I'd just like to say a quick hello. My name is Cora. I'm a makeup artist and fashion enthusiast and so I make videos about makeup and fashion. Those are my two main passions. I will throw in some lifestyle stuff here and there. Things like shaving your face and like really awkward subjects. I am just a really big nerd for any kind of costume drama like Downton Abbey and Pride, Prejudice and Zombies. Today is one of my favorite videos to make and that is my VOTXGB30 video. This this is where I've pushed myself to get the most out of my Gwenny V membership, which is a clothing rental subscription service for sizes 10 through 32. I have been a member for a couple of years and I was like, mm, maybe I'm not getting the most out of this service. Let me actually push myself to share every single thing I get in the mail, whether it's good, bad, or horrid. And there's one thing this month that I actually couldn't share with you guys on camera because it was a pair of jeans that just like straight up didn't fit. I want to really push myself to share all these things and make sure I'm photographing everything. But the most important thing and the thing that makes me the most happy is how we've created a community because I've invited you guys to join me with this with the hashtag VOTXGB30. So I'm on the hashtag right now and oh my god you guys we have 112 posts. What? Like, I don't even know what planet this is. So thank you guys so much for submitting your looks. Keep in mind, you guys will be able to get featured next month. So go ahead and use the hashtag VOTXGB30 to share with me your Gwenny B looks. I am just loving this. And I want to shout out a few new community members and just people that have continued on with it, like KJoyLow24. Oh my God, you shared so many amazing looks. I swear, she's like my new like style icon because everything that she shows, I go and I closet it. I'm like, oh my God, that's so cute. I'm closeting that. Oh my god, that's so cute. I'm closeting that. A new community member this month is Miss Mortessa. I absolutely died for your little outfit shot. So cute. I love that skirt. Please keep your submissions coming because you're so adorable. Somebody new this month that really killed it was Dory. Um, Dory Mendoza. I actually met Dory a couple years ago at a makeup show here in San Francisco. So it was really cool to see you get involved with this. I got like so excited when I saw your post. She had quite a few amazing shots and she actually just shared some new ones today and I'm like, oh my god, you're killing it, dude. You're killing it. And that's the thing that I really love is kind of getting to know you guys a little bit better through this hashtag and seeing your fashion and like your identity through fashion. Another new community member is Linda Hudgens and oh my gosh you are so stylish and your photos are so on point. You are so like fabulous and stylish like I feel like a geek. I'm like oh my god you, you you're using my hashtag and you're this cool. <laughs> the cool kids like me. Another new community member is JL Spy. She actually shared her first ever Gwenny B dress which I was so excited to see. She shared a few other photos. This this skirt that you're wearing so many other community members have like rented this and I'm so jealous I just wish that it would come in my box <laughs> JL spies also shared like the uh, little brochure that you get when you first join and I didn't even know this I'm in it so if you guys join and you will actually get like the little like thing with me in it I was so excited oh my god I actually like contacted uh, my like PR contact at Gwenny B and was like can you send me one of those so I can save it for like my memento box I just feel like so blessed that this company that I love loves me back and it just it's a really great community. Now Omnivorous shared a couple of really great outfit photos and I met her when I went to New York last time we sat down at a little cafe and it was just like so cool to see these people that I know in real life actually getting involved people that I've met through meetups and things like that. Lolly Meg wore the amazing splatter print dress which I shared and a lot of the other community members have also borrowed this so it's really exciting to see that kind of like making its way it's like literally like sisterhood of the traveling dress we are all like wearing it and having fun adventures in the dress I just dig it it's one of the things I love about Gwenna B is that we're able to share these awesome clothes and I really love that we've been able to create this little community so I want to thank everyone who has participated in the VOTXGB30 hashtag I will have that linked in the description bar down below so you can see everyone's posts and make sure to post your own photos because it makes me so happy and if you haven't joined Gwenna B yet there's no day like today so I'll go ahead and have that link in the description bar down below for you guys to check out now I want to talk about my rentals I actually had some stuff that I wore that were not rentals um, which was really exciting I had never done this before uh, there's the Gwenny B membership which is what I've talked about for the last two years but there's also the Gwenny B shop which has stuff that you wouldn't necessarily want to rent like underwear and bras and swimsuits and things like that so this month I was given the opportunity to try out a unique vintage swimsuit so this came with tags it's a totally different thing from the membership membership. Everything's new with tags, brand new, not used, anything like that. But this is an adorable bikini and one thing I really liked about it is that it doesn't have underwires yet. It somehow like magically lifted my boobs up. It had like really large pads in it. I love the ties. I love the watermelon print. I love the halter top and nothing too. Um, unique vintage. Their clothing tends to run a little bit on the small size but this suit fit me 
perfectly in the size 4x which was like based on the size chart the size that I should wear if anything the bottom was a little bit like loose and comfy like this is one of my most comfortable swimsuits now it was absolutely perfect for my quick trip this weekend down to Southern California and I just loved dipping in the pool in my super cute swimsuit <laughs> this month in terms of my rental started out with two items that I kind of held back and this is something that you can do you don't have to send something that you rent back right away you can actually hold on to it for a little while especially if you have a larger um, item at a time member like I do I have five items at a time so I decided to hold a couple things back and that ultimately meant that I didn't I wasn't able to rent like a full 15 items or however many 15 has been the most I've been able to rent in a month and this month I was able to rent 14 things which is much better than last month but I still haven't beat my first month where I was able to rent 15 items items that I held back for a couple of extra days were the toka blouse which was so beautiful and really fun to wear and the Rachel Antonoff top which I was obsessed with and I was really sad and I was getting ready to put it in the envelope and send it on its way and then Gwenny B had a sale which is something that they do sometimes so I was able to get it at a much reduced rate I think I bought it for like $50 which for that blouse with that print that fits that well that is a button-up shirt that fits on my hips and doesn't gap up my bust <sighs> so worth it. So in my first actual box of the month, there was this great shirt from, I think it was Nine West, and the, the skirt is from Edition L. This is the whole outfit's Gwenny B. And this was so cute, and the perfect like kind of stuff that I like to rent from Gwenny B, where it's a little bit like, I don't know if this is my style, but it's fun to try it out. The top kind of reminded me of like a 1980s McDonald's employee shirt but I kind of liked it in a weird way I was like mm, vintage and then the skirt was really fun really great structure to it it was really awesome to wear so this was really fun to wear you guys if you've seen my Daiso video you probably recognize this outfit already um very cute very comfortable and I wore it with a really great pair of earth's shoes and my hair in this like great crazy coif <laughs> um next item I rented was this great Vince Camuto like jungle print bomber jacket so silky and really lightweight it was perfect for the summertime especially in the Bay Area we usually have a couple of kind of cold days I love this jacket and this is one of those things I really like about renting from Gwenny B is that Vince Camuto is a brand that's kind of on the more expensive side this jacket retails for I think 180 bucks and that's a little bit out of my league for a bomber jacket just because it's not a clothing style that I wear all the time so I'm like eh, nope really cute and it went really well with my regular like workout gear I was like oh my god it matches so cute this next piece unfortunately I don't have video footage because this month I tried to be smart about my like digital stuff and I was you know putting everything on my uh, external hard drive and somehow in that process I deleted the video footage but I have lots of photos this is a jacket from Lucky Brand and it's a really interesting like military jacket because it has this gorgeous rose print on it and it has shorter sleeves this is a rent return and regret I wish that I had purchased this and I've already recloseted it hoping that it will come back because it was so beautiful really lightweight great for walking my dog early in the morning I don't know if you guys know this I wake up around 6 30 6 45 to walk my dog and in the Bay Area it's still pretty cold like we still have fog hanging in so it's a bit chilly I still need jackets in the summertime so this was perfect because it's lightweight it doesn't make me feel like bogged down with a heavy jacket and it was so cute I was so sad that I didn't buy that <laughs> the next item was a rent and return for me this was really cute I love all the color on it I don't remember the brand name on the dress I'm sorry um if I if I can figure it out I will insert it here it was really cute but I just felt like it was kind of a little big for me like the, the it was like thick through the waist so it was sort of unflattering but it was really comfy to wear for a quick trip to Target and to do some errands and stuff so that's the other great thing no laundry I can just wear it and return it and I don't have to worry about washing it like fiddling with my hair don't mind me this next item I was really excited about this is a new brand that I've never rented I've never even heard of them before they're called flying tomato and from what I can tell it seems kind of like a um, kind of like bohemian style it reminds me a lot of the Johnny Waz items but a lot less expensive so if you're interested in purchasing it it's a lot cheaper I really like this top that I rented I actually saw this on my friend Lisa Rose and I was like what that is amazing immediately closeted it was really exciting when it came really cute top nice and flowy just a really great summer item unfortunately the other item that I rented from flying tomato didn't work out so well this is a dress that it's too short too tight in the bust too tight in the waist too tight in the hips just no I did wear it around the house but I didn't really feel comfortable wearing it out of the house so this was a rent and return real quick next item is this gorgeous skirt from Edition L oh my god you guys how beautiful is this skirt it's just so pretty 
it's just it makes me feel pretty I paired it with a top that I have from Mod Cop, like a cream color and these really great red flats that I got from Target and after nine years of marriage my husband and I finally got proper wedding rings so I actually wore it the day that I went to pick mine up and I was just like ah oh, I just felt like theme dressing it was just a great little date with my husband it's like, it was just such a great like it was a great day and it was a great memory and I just felt so pretty in the skirt this next item didn't fit and I can't even show it to you guys because it was so bad I think I put the wrong size in my closet I must have been like I was like on a closet and grand page like oh my god that's cute closet 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 and I must have not been paying very close attention to the size chart because I wear size 22 in some of their other jeans I don't wear a size 22 in these so these are James jeans they wouldn't get past my hips it wasn't cute I can't I, I'm sorry I no this next item I am so excited to share with you guys. This dress is from Rachel Antonoff and has this really great print. It's all like broken up, different colors, just kind of fun and funky and just, oh, I loved it so much. And I knew it was gonna be perfect for one of the events in my cousin's wedding called a Polterra Bend. The idea of this is that everyone breaks pottery and then the couple has to work together to clean it up. And I'm probably not explaining it properly, so I'm gonna go ahead and have my cousin Lauren explain it to you guys in his own words. So the, the gist of a polterabin is that the bride and the groom work together to sweep up the pieces of the broken pottery, and it has to be pottery for good luck. They sweep it together to represent them working together to tackle all of life's challenges and the unexpected little things that life throws at you. Awesome. Thank cool. you. It was such a fun experience. It was a great like bonding exercise. I met a bunch of people that I didn't know because I didn't really know my cousin's friends, and by the end of it, I was having like tearful goodbyes with the people that I met at this wedding because we have that great bonding experience that first day at the Polterra Bend. So I will actually link you guys to the woman who provided the pottery for this. Uh, she is so sweet and she was actually in this video. Um, so this is actually her throwing pottery at the thing. It was just a great experience and a lot of fun to do. I think it's such a cool tradition and I wanted to share that with you guys and this dress was so totally perfect for this event. It was colorful. I knew that the wedding was in LA where people dress very colorfully and I liked the kind of broken up look of the pattern this dress is from Rachel Antonoff and it was just I love Rachel Antonoff prints they're so good <laughs> uh, this next dress I also wore on my trip uh, this I, I'm very into themed dressing so this dress has little trolleys on it so I thought it was perfect to wear as my travel day dress it was super comfortable this is from Effie's heart so it's the same as that splatter print print dress and a few others that you guys have seen me I love Effie's heart it's one of my favorite companies to rent from and this has a similar color scheme as the splatter dress if you like that kind of like muted fun color and fun print but in more of like a subdued kind of color scheme this is perfect for you the next dress is something that I didn't technically rent from Gwenny B last month but I bought it from them after I rented it last winter this is one of my favorite dresses I wore it for New Year's Eve I wore it to go see Hamilton and I wore it to my cousin's wedding it's like my favorite special occasion dress because the beautiful navy blue velvet is just striking and stunning the cut of it is just so flattering and it's insanely comfortable like insanely comfortable this dress it's just the perfect perfect special occasion dress without being too dressy without being too dressed down it's just lovely and this is still in the collection that you can rent so ugh, how exciting that's why I wanted to make sure I shared this with you guys this month because this dress is just divine and if you can you should definitely rent it final item that I'm gonna share with you guys today is the outfit that I'm wearing right now so I'm just gonna stand up and show it to you this is a jumpsuit from a brand called Democracy. And this is absolutely one of my favorite things I've ever rented from Gwenny B. I love that this cutout here actually shows the skin and it's made out of a different fabric so it's a little bit um, more structured. There is structure in it but it also is quite elastic so it's incredibly comfortable. There's pockets. It's just like, oh my God, it's so good. It's navy, which is a color I love to wear. The only thing I don't like about it is that you'll see that I have it like very structured up here. It's actually because I have a safety pin. These are a little bit too loose for me. Like they, <laughs> they fall down pretty easily. So something to keep in mind, you can always modify something to suit you better. But once I did that, it's one of my favorite pieces I own. In fact, it's not, uh, it's pretty wrinkly right now because I've worn it like three or four times. Uh, and actually I wore it on the road home for my cousin's wedding. So it's a little bit wrinkly, but so cute. So, oh my God, I got a ton of compliments on this. It was just awesome to wear something that people were so excited about and also to wear something that I was so excited about and that is insanely comfortable. 
This was an immediate purchase for me because I just love the way that this looks. I think it's so flattering and so beautiful and I just like it's it's everything I ever wanted. All I ever wanted. All I ever needed. Yeah. So there you have it. That is everything I was able to rent from Gwenny B in the last month. I am so thrilled with everything that I rented this month. This was such a well, you know, there was like the jeans that didn't work out and the one dress that didn't really work out but the other things that worked out worked out so perfectly this is definitely one of my favorite months I've ever had with Gwenny B and I'm just that much more excited for next month so make sure that you are sending me your looks through VOTXGV30 and if you haven't already signed up I have that link for you guys in the description bar down below thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video remember to be vintage or tacky just be your own kind of beautiful see you bye